there. It's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Galleries. And I've been playing with beads and shovels. Cut lots of beads. Mardi Gras beads work just as well as chain for me. I have a dish of leftover color that I've just squeezed, squeeze bottled a lot of colors into. And I thought I was going to shovel my paint onto this. First, I'm going to make sure my OXO paint spreading miracle spatula called an omelet turning spatula by OXO, also available on my Amazon link just below the video description. Best, best tool I've come across in 16 months or more of spreading paint. Never, no looking back. Buy the big one, it's cheaper and it's better. I know I have a pair of glasses and that is going to be a good thing to put on my face because then I can do what I need to do, which is see the difference between canvas and white paint. All right, so I've been th spreading my paint a little thicker and I've been playing with the beads. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm sure it'll be in the description underneath the video along with my wet and dry Facebook link to the, to the YouTube video artworks. So I've played with that long enough. There's also a Pinterest link down there and uh, Patreon and PayPal. Um, I'm going to take my Princeton Catalyst spatulas, I especially like the flat front one, and I'm just going to dump all of this painting, all of this paint. Yeah, I'm going to dump it all. I'm going to scrape it down and clean my pan right out. I thought about adding a little blaster silicone, but I think what I'm going to do is get as much paint out of there as I can possibly manage. Throw this puppy in the bucket. Clean my spatula off with my nice wet rag. One of two I've handy because I usually lose one in the process of painting. Throw that back there. And I can do almost anything I want. Let's start with an edge catcher, which is a sheet of plastic that came out of a 16 by 20 pack of Michael's 16 by 20 canvases bulk pack. So I like the idea of seeing what happens. I'm going to let it all run down, tip it back and forth so it covers the edge. I'm going to put that down for a moment. I love most of what I've got going there, but the problem is that I'm going to lose some of it. And I like it so much, that purple color, that I'm just going to have at it. I'm just going to add it right to it because it looked good and I think it's going to stay looking good. And I'm going to pick a new clean spot and let it all run down there and pull right up. And I'm not going to let it go back too far this time and I did slide on the edge. I'm going to keep observing my pattern and seeing where I want my paint to go. We've got some nice, nice, nice cells happening. I'm going to do a Gina and recenter my paint because that's what smart people do. Um, I'm going to have a look at this for a minute. Let's put that right down. Let's see what else we want to do. I think I'm just going to uh, throw some other things in. Like I said, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do today. But I do know that it often will make cells if you combine black and white or pools of paint. Actually, you know what? I have a piece of medical tubing that you can use, replace with a bendy straw pretty easily if you want to do this. No, I did not mean to drag that in there. Um, I do want some more of that. There are no rules for me. I do what I want. And that right there is what I want. I wonder if I can get it back again. I really want that purple over that white. So much so. I'm willing to try anything to get it. Including putting up with 
or receiving, I should say, or allowing it to just be what it wants to be. I think I'm going to touch up my edge as long as I'm here, because that's the color we're going to be covering it with, obviously. What else do I want in here? I kind of love that, you know what, I really do love that Bahama blue. That's not it. Is that it? No, that's not it. But that would be kind of a nice contrast. So I'm going to take a little bit of that, hopefully not too awful much. Bring it right up over the side. Tap some of it down with my finger. Not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to move this other stuff I just put in my way, out of my way. Let all that go down over the side. There's a nice thick layer of white paint, which is allowing paint to move and slide. And if we're lucky, do some other cool stuff. Like create cells or patterns. Or mix. <laughs> and make a lighter blue. Oh well, never mind. I'm seeing this minty green that I don't know if you can see or not, but it's a color shift. And I really like it. And I think I'm inspired to go ahead and use it again. Because again, that rhymed. <laughs> okay, I'm getting goofy. It's my third video. It's really hot out here. That's really mixing a lot. I guess we're going to have a new experiment. We're going to find out what happens when you mix white paint and color shift paint. But uh, I'm loving rolling my skewer around with the paint that's on it on the sides of the canvas and covering them. It's working really, really well. And I like that green so much. I think I'm going to throw some of it over there and see what happens when I mix it in with the Bahama Blue. Come back over here see if I can get some Bahama Blue off my skewer. What else do I want to do? I want to move that down. I didn't really want to do a lot of stuff in there. I do want some black. And I also want to move that even further up and over. So, where am I going to put my black? I guess. I guess I'm going to play fast and loose with paint again. <laughs> See what happens. Make random zigzaggy things happen. Okay, so I like that black enough. If I set a timer, I did. We got 10 minutes left. This should be pretty quick. So I like the purple and I like the orange. I don't necessarily think orange and green usually would go together, but I kind of want to draw the eye up in this direction. And I'm going to wipe off my skewer, because I have enough. Well, I'm going to wipe off my skewer and then wipe off my skewer again. Because I want some more black in there. Because I think it looks awesome! And I know it's going to sell up over that white. Matter of fact, if it doesn't right quick, which I think it will, I'll probably go in there with a torch and make it. <laughs> Whoa! No, no. Okay, I had to wipe that off anyway. No harm, no foul. I'm going to take some of this paint that's leaking down that I'm going to have to clean my tile after this. Okay, perfect, of course. Never mind. I like that up there. Dumped paint over I didn't notice. Wow, I'm distracted. I'm liking that a lot. I wonder if I'll like it as much tomorrow when it dries. this because of that nice thick layer of white paint we can drag all kinds of stuff in and through and make marts other stuff and have it work out quite nicely I haven't absolutely made up my mind what I want I don't want that I don't have much gold 
I do think I am actually going to go back and allow myself the pleasure of putting some more something up there. This is just sort of free form bamboo skewering 101. Sort of like talking to myself while I work. Except for I'm talking to you. Nice to have your company. I know you're there. You always talk to me. Okay, that's cool. I want more. Yeah, I'm good with that. I got some beautiful colors in here. I don't know how they're going to dry tomorrow. I'm going to lay down whatever's on my skewer and roll it sideways and let it become part of the pattern. Try and take stock of what it's doing so if I want to change it while I have the chance, I will. I got nothing happening down there. I really, I could go in here with something else and change everything if I wanted to right now, but I don't. I'm willing to take a chance that it's going to be okay tomorrow. I did put some orange up there, and then I didn't do anything with it, and I want to. I think I want some lighter orange, and if I don't like it, I'll change it. Nice light touch. Just sort of pay attention to what things are, what's happening. I've got a place I want to put just a thin line of paint, so I'm going to just apply the paint right to right to my skewer and let it roll around. And then I'm going to take my leftover again and again and again and let it be on the side by rolling it. I'm going to pick up my extra paint and use it to cover the side also. And everything just went... <laughs> everything just went sideways. Literally. I could rain -X this very easily and be quite happy. I want all that to go that way and then this way. And then back again. And I think we're almost done, but I say that a lot, and it's never true. <laughs> Oop, splooge. Come on out of there. That was way more than I was expecting to come out of there when it finally came. Wipe my skewer off. Sometimes I like the paint on my skewer, sometimes I don't. Want it there. Where? Anywhere? I just get inspired by sticking my skewer in things once in a while and let whatever's going to happen happen. And this is one of those. And I will check my edges. I got plenty of wet paint. I'm going to I'm going to torch gently. I feel like I could dip this. I don't know, there's something missing. I think it's gold. It's kind of some funky colors. If it dries really dark, it might be good, it might not. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Got some heavy paint. I always use GAC 800, 10% to 90% color in my mix, and it means that when my paint is thick, I can save my patterns the way I like them which for me is always a good thing. I don't like cracks in my painting unless I want cracks in my painting, and I don't want cracks in my fluid acrylic artworks. I love all those little tiny cells. It's as if we rain x rain -X original formula. We'll make those little tiny cells automatically, but we didn't have to do that. That's pretty cool. That's some great texture. I'm loving that. I kind of want to put some black over here. We got four minutes left, and I can do that if I want. Unless I made, unless I cooked my paint, <laughs> which does happen occasionally. Yeah, I cooked my paint. Oh well. It starts to set up. Doesn't matter. It'll be all right. Paint will rehydrate paint too. Nope, no need to panic. 
Just pull your clumps out. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. I like that little black spot there. Kind of inclined to do it again over here. Just let it roll right down over the side. Yep, not bothering me a bit. Cool. I'm good with that. Do I want to do anything else? I want to throw these beads right in there and see what happens, but... I kind of didn't mind that blue there. There she goes again, playing fast and loose with paint. I do it because I can. Even when you think I can't, I still can. <laughs> and that's why I do, and that's why I say you can too. Oh god, I'm getting rhymy. That's kind of sad, isn't it? <laughs> oh well, never mind. I'm pretty happy with all of that. Love that green, mint green. That is a folk art color shift. And it is just awesome. Took me a long time to become brave enough to use it. I think I wouldn't have minded a little more Prussian blue in there. I think I like it from my vantage point. I don't mind it from that vantage point. I don't mind it from that vantage point. I'm pretty happy with that for a nice little 16, 12 by 16. And I'm gonna call it good and put my tools away. And I'm gonna tell you, again, if you wanna find my wet and dry artworks, there's a Facebook link under the under the video on at the end of the description, along with my Pinterest boards. Um, there's a Patreon, Patreon, and a PayPal header link on my YouTube header icons. Tongue tied today, and also the links are in the description, along with my paint recipe and the description of how I get shimmery paints when I want them by adding golden. Anyway, it's all there. Sometime you ought to read it. <laughs> I don't know if anybody ever reads it, but I'm sure somebody does. Anyway, that's the end for now. And this is Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio saying, this was a great day. Thanks for joining me. And I appreciate all my contributions from all my contributors. And um, I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful whatever time of day or year or <laughs> whatever it is where you are. I hope it's awesome. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.